Sway in the morning, Shade 4 5. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. If you're just now tuning in, just had Rob Markman coming up in. And he did how you think he did, Heather? I like his song. You like his song? I do. I really like his song. All right, cool. Uh, and, you know, I, I really, um, I, I'm, I'm into all, I'm into um, feeling when it comes to music. I'm into energy. Yeah. You know, I, I'm into music I could close my eyes to and it could move me a certain way. It could, music that I could relate to. Um, I, what I like from music personally, uh, when it comes to just in general is, uh, a music that affects me emotionally, uh, and music that makes me think. And it's a young artist I've been aware of for quite some time who's been making a lot of rounds and, and gaining a lot of critical acclaim, uh, because of, uh, the impact his music has made. They're giving him a lot of titles, you know. They're throwing a lot of weight on his back, and he's just, to me, somebody who's just creative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're calling the revival of Ray Gay, or, you know, or he's going to, you know, he's the next Bob Marley and all these things that they say about him that I don't think is fair for him. Yeah. Um, I just think he's somebody, uh, well, we're going to find out what he is. Uh, but uh, personally, I think he's just somebody who's just been inspired by a lot of people and then also inspired by his own experiences. So he's created a lot of great music that that people, you know, are starting to take note to. Uh, we've been wanting to have him up for a while. We've finally been able to make it happen. Welcome to the show for the first time. The very, the very magnificent, benevolent Chronics is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, respect. 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 Bless up. What's up, man? Yeah, nothing. love is up, you know. Love, love, love is, is up. up. Love yeah, is what's up. Yeah, everything, everything good. Respect. Yeah, you always felt like that. Yeah, but most of the times, you know. Um, sometimes I, I, I question if it's just my perception or if it's the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, but you know, more and more you get reassured, and you know, you you, you get. You know, you become more sure that everything is good, you know? Yeah. And the more the more we live and the more we learn, we realize that, you know, everything is good. Every single thing. Every single good, thing, yeah. man. I, I, mean, I got to get into that. See what I mean? Have, that's the frame of mind I need to stay in. Yeah, so even when you got to pay taxes, everything is yeah, good, man. man. Yeah, man. <laughs> tax, is, tax is good, man. The tax, tax is good. Tax, tax is good for society. Yeah, yeah. right? Society can't strive without taxes and stuff like that. That's society needs crime, tax, sickness, and all of them things. To so, really try to the, um, thrive, you know? But, you know, it, it, so it's good in that way for them. It's good for them. So <laughs> yeah. if I'm locked up in prison. Yeah, man. Society every, needs that. Everybody, think about if they are to let out everybody who's in prison. There will be less land for them, mm-hmm. less food for them, less money for them. Because they would have more people to share it, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, that's and it. then, and then, and then, and then, there wouldn't be the business of um, rehabilitation and all these things. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and that business is very necessary in the economy of society. So you find that, yeah, it's yeah. very, <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's very good for very them. Good. <laughs> very, very good for very them. Very good for them. So do you rock with them? With them, yes. What do you mean by rock, though? Like, do you agree with them? Are you a part of them? Well, well, me agree with reality and everything that is a part of it. I can't disagree with my reality because it's my reality. You know, I could have been born in a time before society, and I wasn't. So, you know, since I'm here, I'm not going to disagree with the fact that I'm here. What I would more want to do is cooperate with my reality, and somehow. And somehow move move through life without stress and without feeling displaced because I'm obviously not displaced. I was born through my mother, living her for nine months and come out naturally into this system, you know. Yeah. For what purpose? You know, not to not to stress over it and and die without even knowing what your purpose was. You know. So the main thing is to understand what what role are you supposed to play? Mm-hmm. You know, because you know. 
why not Mars? Why not Jupiter? Why here? You know? mm-hmm. yeah. I like that. Chronix yeah. is here, man. <laughs> Cooperate. Hey, Chronix, man, I love that breakdown of the understanding of philosophy and life and the meaning of it. So well balanced. You don't hear that perspective too often. Uh, and so I'm curious, you know, you went to Kenya and you're a peace ambassador and you're the cultural entertainer of the year. What then do you advocate for if you believe all things are purposeful and are destined? So then what would you advocate for then? Well, we advocate for, for balance. For balance throughout humanity, you know. And we advocate for Rastafari. Because Rastafari is is one of the, the, the ways how a youth can see himself outside of a system. Or outside of a a physical system then. And more a part of a spiritual network which connects each and every living thing. So you don't have you can't have enemies, right? Mm-hmm. Because if you're gonna love your enemies, then it's not really enemies, you know. So, and even even when we have enemies, we don't have enemies so we can hate them. We have enemies so we can have an idea of who is with us and who is against us, you know. We don't have enemies so we can breed hate because we don't hate anybody. You are human, so we love you, but we know that you are against us, you know. Hmm. So we love you, but you are not with us, and we know we are aware of it. You know, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying to make sure that you, you get your full life as a human s- still, but you are not with us and <laughs> we know that, you know what I mean? So yeah, I, you know, if you're dying, I'll try to help you, you know, if I can find it, if I can find the strength, I will try to help you, but I know that you're not with me and you might try to kill me after I help you. That's what you doing, Heather? Chronix needs to convert Wanda to Rastafarianism. Oh, that's was, what's wrong. I was saying, he sounded very conservative before Mike had to jump in and ask so. him. To ask him. I like the way he started this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, Mike, he tried to sway you, bro. He tried to sway you. Come to this side. You, I like it. There's, a, there's good and evil in this world. You have no, to accept no, it. No, we're, 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 we're not take side. You know? As I was we're Rasta, so we're not take side. <laughs> Mike tried to convert we, you. We, we, to go against people. Yeah, we are nah. never on our side, you know. No, we're no. never on our side because, oh. as I always say, we seek balance, you know. And right. Well, maybe there's too much on, on any side. To be on any side, oh it, it, it bring a sense of <laughs> right. imbalance mm-hmm. to, to people, mm-hmm. you know. And that's that's the only source of imbalance in the world right now, people. Because I remember, you know, we live in a very political time, right? And to un- when you f- understand that it's politics, then you won't be on any side. You, you think know? you need to tell because him that. I, I, I'm, <laughs> you know, we are Rasta and we are spiritual people, people. so yeah, we are not religious people because religious people is on our side. Right. Because when you remember you know, the teachings of His Majesty say, until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes, there will be war in the world every day. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, until there is no longer first class and second class citizen of any nation, then there will be war in the whole world, you know? And this utopian world that we hope for and whatever will never be attainable. It's just something that they tell you to work towards because they want you to keep working. But it's not at, uh, it's not attainable if I can't see myself as part of a greater spiritual network. But, but it's not possible. Wonder, I, but, he, but I, he's saying too at the same you time must you, 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 you got to work towards but this he, utopian world. But but listen, if, but Rasta, you, need equal, you know, in Rasta and in yeah. other religions, there's many things that are abominable that people don't believe in. And mm-hmm. well, Rasta yeah, is not a religion, yeah. still. Uh, what do you think it is? Spirit. Rasta Spirit. is a liberty. Yeah, a liberty, a day to day decision that you make to be a greater human being. Mm. You have to be a Rasta every day, all over again. Ja Rastafari. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All over again. Okay. Every single day you have to say hey, he's a Rasta. You know, so yesterday Rasta different from today Rasta. You wake up today you have to be Rasta all over again because there is new there is new things to distract you today. It's like, ground, it's like same, Groundhog Day. It's not the same distraction as yesterday. Every day is a new you have to roll up, roll distraction. Up. So you have to <laughs> cultivate it every day. <laughs> Every single day. You sit down, wonder. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Time out. Selassie <laughs> Children. What is this song about? Well, it's about um, the the Selassie Children in this song is really talking about the youths who embrace the teachings that are suggested by Ali Selassie mm-hmm. in towards humanity for a greater human life experience. You know, um, 
which is teaching us not to give our allegiance to nations and countries and political systems, but to each other. Mm -hmm. Which means that I, I don't owe any allegiance to the landmass of Africa in terms of a nation mm -hmm. like that. I owe my allegiance to humanity first and mm -hmm. foremost. Mm -hmm. So everything else come after. Everything else precipitate out of that respect for humanity. Mm -hmm. So you know everything will 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 have that blueprint, that pattern in it. Mm -hmm. So you know. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a part of the UNIA, still my first allegiance is to humanity. It's to humanity. And if yeah, because that no that no that no cultivate within you the knowledge of knowing that you can really put the interest of your nation above the interest of humanity. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Because then you just another colonial master. Mm -hmm. Either a black one or a white one. Another colonial Chinese master. Damn. You want to comment know? on that? Because if, 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 <laughs> you you know, know, if, if, if our actions, if China going to suffer, if the innocent people of China are going to suffer for the benefit of a black person, then that black man is no different from him slave master and him slave master. Because every slave master has a slave master. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every slave master has a slave, slave master. master. Chronics. They never told us that black is beautiful. That's the chorus to the song, Black is Beautiful. That's part of the chorus. What 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 was you trying to um, present in this song? Well, the message in it. Black is beautiful. Is just a song. It says it in the song. There's one line in the song because I always try to put a line in the song that kind of paraphrase everything. So there's this, there's few lines that says, um, "This is not a racist song. It is a song for the children who were never told about where the race is from." Mm -hmm. So I was having a conversation with some friends yesterday and like, even for a black person, it's easier to trace and say, yo, you know, I have a great, great, great grandmother from Ireland. It's easier to know that part. But if, it, you know, as a black person, it's so hard to know where in Africa mm -hmm. your great, great, great grandfather was. And that's because of the history of your Irish grandmother, your Irish great grandmother is different from the history of your great grandfather, your great grandfather, history was erased from. Mm -hmm. Because if it was there, then you would know that, yo, you know, I had a great, great, great grandfather from Senegal and he was a chief and mm -hmm. he mm -hmm. had, he had um, 14 houses and 7,000 hectares of land. And mm -hmm. you know what I mean? If, if you know that, then your whole attitude would be different. You'd yeah. be a different, your outlook and your perspective would be different. So, He's a song basically suggesting the beauty of people to awaken that memory in them mm -hmm. because we don't have it written on paper, so we have to awaken it, activate it in in DNA, okay. you know, to, 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 to even start feeling like we're beautiful and then when you feel like you're beautiful, then you'll have dreams about your, your, your mm -hmm. great-grandmother who was a queen, like mm -hmm. a, a, not just a... In not just like how we use the word queen you now to say every woman is a yeah. queen, like a real a queen, queen. with uh -huh. own hectares of land uh -huh. and uh -huh. own a whole community and built 700 hospitals and them things. Uh -huh. And your great 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 grandfather, he was actually the man who discovered electricity and not uh -huh. next one. And, uh -huh. <laughs> the knowledge of self, yeah, knowledge yeah. And it's like for, yeah. yeah, it's like for other people, like sometimes I have conversations with my friend from Europe and he's telling me about, yo, he's showing me even pictures of his great, 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 great. I'm like, yeah. yo, there was cameras in that time. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have a photo and whatever. Like, I'll never see that for like my great, great, great. Like, it don't exist. Mm -hmm. You know, they're erased from history. So I have to activate it. So my life experience have to be different from yours. Mm -hmm. As someone who has a picture and a, and a and a letter that your great 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 grandmother wrote and posted, like my people couldn't even use a post. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So Chronics is here. <laughs> the album so is chronology. Like, so yeah, is awake, awake in the beauty, you know. Oh, okay, now um, chronology. That's the album that's out now. Um, a lot of 
how what you're speaking about really appeals to me and for so many different reasons um and i'm curious to you know a lot of um awareness will come through you know opening spiritual vessels and making yourself available to yeah. it as well but we got a we're surrounded by concrete we're surrounded by walls we're so we're engulfed with technology for a reason though what, what do you think that reason? for a reason you are placed in this situation for a reason so don't reject it uh-huh. embrace it uh-huh. because there are things that there are roles that technology has to play that's the only reason why it's here uh-huh. you know what i mean so you being the person who you are, are come into contact with a city like new york for what reason that's what you need to ask yourself you know and if if you can't find no reason at all to be here then you need to leave mm-hmm. and then no if you can't find a reason then do it mm-hmm. you know i think a lot of the youths who were brought here from africa and all over the world we were brought here for a reason mm-hmm. we needed to to feel we needed to feel what we felt and we needed to live what we lived and it's for a reason. I think the reason is very beautiful. The reason is very beautiful. Very beautiful reason. Like the think about it. Think about what the the great gifts that our people have been able to give to the world. Mm-hmm. You know, since that time. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Think all right, don't think about anybody else but Muhammad Ali. You know? yeah, yeah, and then think, think about, about everybody else. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Muhammad Ali, yeah, they, like yeah. that. Uh, and then, you know, so it's like our story is different. Like we were we are corrupted, like we were brought here, we were corrupted, raped, and all them things. We we are the ones who experience this part of the anguish. And then you have people on the continent who experience worse uh-huh. genocide and all of these things. But for what reason though? You know? I feel like there's a beauty in it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And that's what we need to find out. The beauty. Where is the beauty in all of this? The song Likes is really interesting. It's kind of <laughs> like a double entendre. When I first saw the title, didn't hear the song, I wasn't sure what it was about. Yeah. This is a really interesting it's song. It's a love song. song. Talk, a song talk about, about it. love. Talk about it. Talk about it. <laughs> yeah, well, Likes, you know, is a tune. It's a love song. You know? mm-hmm. It's about how we can, um, as artists, reconnect with our love for art. You know, mm-hmm. and not our love for validation, because mm. likes is validation, but love is a self-generating thing. You know that you just need to come into contact with it, and you'll feel it. You know, but likes now is a thing for validation, mm-hmm. where it's really about how a man feel about your thing. But when when you are motivated by love, like if I really love to sing and I sing, then what people say will mean a lot, but it won't be the main reason why I sing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which means, yeah, I might get a little, you know, too impacted by what people say, but mm-hmm. at least the main reason why I sing is because I love to sing. But you love to sing. Yeah. So that's how we are trying to reconnect the youth with the idea of doing things that you love Not because you love it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, I'm I, I'm not going to, like, music is my job. Yeah, yeah, music is my job, but I'm blessed to have a job that I love and I don't want that blessing to fade away. Yes. Because you know? the very moment you, you, you don't love what you're doing anymore, then it's not no longer a blessing. It's more like a curse or obligation. Yeah, or it becomes sentence. a burden. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. A burden, yeah. So, yeah, we just want you them know, say, because we live in a world where we have sub-dimensions that are fairly new. Mm-hmm. Where, you know, people don't realize that one time you had the media and that was one reality that people live in, you know. For instance, somebody like you and you and you know foreigner to the media is mm-hmm. a different world. Yeah, you act a little different mm-hmm. on media than in reality, which makes it a different reality because it requires different manners, different etiquette, different different principles that mm-hmm. govern the world of media as a world you know and you can die in the media and don't die in reality Damn. so it's wow. a whole so it's a whole different reality but now we have a ooh, new ooh, one ooh, now ooh, we have let a... that breathe, Brian. Let that breathe. <laughs> you yeah. can die in the media yeah you and not die, die in reality you can die in the media like you have enough people who you just don't see anymore yeah. and it's like yo 
where is Iverson? You don't see him anymore. You know, and you say, all right, um, all right, where is this guy? I remember I used to love him. Uh -huh. But he's not even there anymore, yeah. you know? And then, yeah, and but them still alive still and them alive. living somewhere, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then new people are born into the media and new, but now we have a new thing now called social media, which is a more intense uh -huh. media because everybody is involved, hands-on. Yeah. So basically, everybody is as an input in the media, in social media, which means I can just create a blog. Uh -huh. And poof, I have 500,000 followers. I have an audience bigger than a lot of mainstream media, uh -huh. you know? So basically, whatever I say is news, you know? So, and that's where the whole system of likes, the whole currency of likes come about because likes is now a currency. I can now legitimately go to somebody and say, yo, my name is Chronix, and 500,000 people like my Facebook page. Uh -huh. You know, and that's worth something. That's worth something. You know, so that currency has now become the motivation. Just like how in the nineties it was cash, mm -hmm. cash money. No, nobody spends cash. People consume likes, mm -hmm. and people spend likes, and people collect them, and people trade them, and like you know what I mean. So it becomes a motivation. So we just suggesting to people that like, yo. Don't don't get too caught into this. Like let's you know, play the just song. Just the same way, like yep. how we say, yo, don't get, don't sell your soul for money. Yeah, it's the no way I tell you, don't lose it for likes. It's sway in the morning only on Shade Forty Five.